Hello, Shamayal. I'm very excited to show you the Nostar Market clients that we've been building into LM Bits. Um, Nostar itself was actually partly based on an extension we made for LM Bits uh, way back in the day, me and Fiat Jaff, called Diagon Alley. And in that, we achieved sensory resistance um, by having uh, resilient infrastructure and having it easy to spin up. Well, now we have this great new generalized uh, protocol, Nostar. On this paradigm shift which empowers users with public key crypto we can build the marketplace directly on nosta um, just as bitcoin is a commons for value transfer nosta market is a international commons for um, e-commerce uh, if you think of something like amazon uh, it requires a bank account and that's why they're restricted to 300 million users as well as you know the infrastructure the amazon infrastructure you need whereas nosta market doesn't need any of that stuff it's bankless you can have um, e-commerce paid e-commerce over the internet but obviously using Bitcoin we don't have to have we're not restricted by bank accounts if you think of something like Facebook marketplace and how incredibly successful that is there's something powerful about attaching a e-commerce platform to your social network graph the clients which we've built are kind of a traditional e-commerce platform but NIP15, the NOSTA market NIP, could be applied um, and is uh, uh, social client developers are looking into applying it to uh, social uh, clients as well. So very excited to unveil and show the clients um, and I'm sure you'll be as excited as I am. Now our merchant client is running on LM Bits, so uh, you can obviously use someone else's LM Bits, or you can install LM Bits, LM Bits on a VPS or on your node. We're actually going to use our software as a service, LMBits.com. It's pretty handy for testing things out. Um, I'm just going to, you would have to create an account here, but I'm just going to log in, and then I can spin up a fresh LM Bits instance um, and provision an LM Bits, and it only costs me 21 sats an hour. So all I need to do is pay this LN Euro Pay, and I'm just going to literally run this LM Bits for one hour just to test it. Um, and then I can show you exactly how to set up your LM bits to be a merchant on Nostar Market. It should take about a minutes to provision. Now I've paid that, so we've got these cogs spinning, um, which is enough time for me to quickly go through the repos. As always, the clients are all the code for the clients are available at our repos on LM bits on our GitHub. Um, this was mostly built by Vladstan, who's an LM Bits developer, and he's done an absolutely cracking job. So big props to Vladstan, and thank you so much for bringing this into the world. Um, on the LM Bits merchant extension, there's a nice uh, tutorial in the readme here on how to set up a merchant. The other client which we're using is a completely front-end marketplace client, uh, which we're running here on market.nostal.com. Um, but you can just run this on your own computer locally or you can put it on you know, a server somewhere if you want to or use somebody else's. Uh, but we're just running it on uh, market.nostar.com and you're welcome to use that as well. This is just simply a, 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 a framework. You connect to relays and then uh, give it a public key for a merchant to subscribe to. And then every time a merchant publish pro publishes products, they'll get pulled down and then it will populate your marketplace client. You can have lists of merchants, so you can pull down multiple multiple products from different merchants all at the same time. And this is more like a traditional Etsy type um, e-commerce client. This is all using NIP15, which is the Nostar Marketplace NIP. And as I said before, this can be implemented and will, I, I'm sure, be implemented into some social Nostar social networking clients as well, which would be great. Has this provisioned? Yes, it has. So I can open up my LM Bits now. Now LM Bits, the software, as a Lightning Wallet account system, um, it, it can sit on top of pretty much any funding source. So any Lightning node or Lightning custodial service. Um, we're going to actually use uh, another LM Bits install, our demo server, and we're going to use that as our funding source for this fresh LM Bits install. But as you can see, you could use a whole bunch of different um, a whole bunch of different solutions there we're adding more all the time so i'm going to click on alan bits wallet and then i'm going to go over to our demo server just make a wallet and then get the admin key from that wallet and then give it to uh, our software as a service and it can use that as a funding source i think i'm having i'm tethering using tethering usb tethering on my phone here so i think i've 
unless my phone's up there, it doesn't have a very good uh, internet. Right, there we are, it's better. So I click on the admin key, copy that, and I'm going to use that to fund this LMBits install. Save, restart server. That'll take a little moment to restart, and now it should be able to send and receive payments uh, via that wallet on our demo server. Oh, still restarting, still restarting. There we go. Uh, so now I can create an invoice in this wallet and I can receive some sats. Here we go. Send. There we are. Um, so the two extensions we're going to install are the Nosta Marketplace extension, of course. Um, and then also uh, another extension called Nostar Client. In LMBits, Nostar Client is kind of our general extension which connects to relays and then can just get notes from uh, Nostar Relays and then it can redirect them to different extensions in LMBits. So in this case, it's going to redirect those notes to Nostar Market for us. I'm going to enable Nostar Client first and I'm going to connect, get it to connect to a couple of relays. Um, so we have some suggested relays here. The damage relay is good. The well order relay is good. Come on. And the nostal.wine relay is good too. There we go. So now that extension is connected to those relays, our LM bits can connect to Nosta. I'm going to enable the marketplace extension. Now, when you open up the marketplace extension, you can import your merchant's keys if you already have keys or if you generated your Nostar key somewhere else. Um, this is one of the coolest things about Nostar Market is traditionally when marketplaces get taken down, it's really inconvenient for the merchants and for the customers because they lose all of their data. Whereas that doesn't happen in Nostar Market, you have all your data could spread to your keys. Um, and in time, that will include things like reputation as well. So very powerful property of the of the system. We're going to generate some new keys to effectively generate a new uh, merchant. We can click this little arrow here to show the keys and back them up. Uh, if you click, if you've imported those keys, um, if you do a fresh from Nostar, that'll pull those products down from those relays to um, populate the merchant client. You can republish the Nostar if you want to republish those um, products, say if you've connected to some new relays. You can delete from DB, so you can delete all the product information from the LM bits uh, install. And you can also request that those notes get deleted from Nostar as well. We're going to create a, the first thing we can do is create a new shipping zone. I'm going to call it ENU North. And I'm just going to collect, select a couple of countries, France, Germany, Belgium. And that's where I'm going to ship to. You can denominate in SATs, of course. But, um, but just because of the fluctuation, fluctuating price of Bitcoin, I'm going to denominate in euros. Uh, cost of shipping, I'm going to only charge 50 cents for shipping. Create shipping zone. Now I have created a shipping zone, I can create a new stall. Now the way it works, it is a marketplace. So you as a merchant, you have a stall and then you um, put products on that stall and you push that stall up to the, the relay and people can subscribe if you subscribe to your public key, they'll get those products. Um, so I'm going to click create new stall and I'm going to sell cakes. Connect to this wallet. That's where all the funds are going to get sent to. I'm going to nominate in euros as well. And then I can select that shipping zone or however many shipping zones I've created. Create stall. And now I've created that stall, I can start adding products to it. So I'm going to add some cakes. New product. Ooh, Welsh cakes. Goodness me. Uh, yummy Welsh cakes. And they're going to cost a euro each. And I've got baked a thousand of those bad boys. Uh, categories. Let's have a look. Cakes. Uh, cake, so just put in a category and hit enter, bakery, yeah. images, I can add some images, so I'm just going to go fetch an image, I would advise using something like imager as opposed to just getting them off Google, but there we are, needs must, pop that in there, click on the little plus, that's a nice picture, if you've never had a Welsh cake before, it's a yummy cake, 
um, particularly nice freshly baked with a sprinkling of sugar shipping costs so if it's a bulky product uh, not like wash cakes then you can add a little bit of extra on um, you can also have an auto reply as well we get this to send to DM the customer as soon as they paid thanks for your purchase um, you could also here add in a link for a downloadable product if you're selling a digital product for example create product uh, and now we have our product I can click on activate you'll say sure you want to activate it and yes I am sure it will then publish to those relays in Nostra client so now I can take my key my public key and then a customer comes along um, they've been given a public key or a list of public keys and they can add that to here in the front end marketplace client um, it's important to note that the marketplace client just as most Nostar clients do comes packaged with a, a couple of relays um, which we we have in common you can obviously change these if you want to uh, and you can also um, include some suggested relays uh, on the merchant end as well so now we've done that if we click on new market oh, okay here we they yeah, nice it's pulled in that product those wash cakes I can click on view details and obviously I've had more products that will be listed there um, you can actually copy this and this will copy this URL here and this is something which you could share say visit my shop to buy swag whatever um, if I paste that in there it'll say see that it's got a, a merchant key in the um, in the URL and then if I press OK it'll then pull that merch that pull that product down uh, to populate the um, the marketplace you can obviously flick through the little pictures um, I'm going to add to cart and then I'm going to go to checkout now as a customer I haven't logged in um, so when I click on proceed to checkout here also I can pay in lightning or if the merchant um, supports it I can also pay in on-chain and cashew as well you can select the shipping zone here um, so EU North I'm going to click confirm you put in your address uh, if you're getting something shipped obviously if it's a digital product then you probably don't need to put any of this stuff in when I click on place order because I'm not logged in it'll say you know you need to add uh, an NSEC to, to log in as a customer um, in this particular case I'm going to generate new keys click log in so now I can place the order when I click on place order um, I've sent a DM to the relay and the merchant is going to receive that DM um, which is our LM Bits software which is running it's going to create an invoice and then it's going to DM back that invoice which is then going to be shown in this front end here for me to pay so uh, as quite a convoluted process it can take a little moment particularly if the relays are being slow it can make, take a little moment for that um, for that invoice to come through so we'll just wait a second we should probably have uh, something here in the client which says you know invoice fetching the invoice may take up to a minute or two so it's spinning it's spinning I'll get my wallet ready to pay there we go right there we are so that's 4,000 sats so it did the um, conversion as well in LM bits click send now when I send that payment there's a listener on the LM bit side uh, listening for payments that payments be made so it's then saying to the merchant the payments be made send back the order received okay great and then the order's been paid and no products in cart I can now click on orders here as the customer and I can see I've got my cakes uh, order and there's the order ID as well if I you know want to chat to the merchant and ask where my products are as we're using Nostra DMs we can actually also chat directly to our merchant thanks for your purchase cool please ship ASAP I need those cakes okay and now as the merchant I can see that I've received an order um, and then I can ship that order that can come attached with a little note as well so it'll send a note saying the order has been shipped and also you know if I need to communicate with my customer um, we can communicate with them there uh, the 
that last note hasn't come through yet the dm from the the customer oh there we are look cool please send asap it just came through right then um the order's been shipped so for the customer now here we go the order has been shipped and i also get a little pop-up saying the order's been shipped as well um and if i go to my orders i should be able to see yep it's been shipped it's marked as shipped and then the yeah that's it that's um that's nostra market uh, this is just just our clients um, so of course you know we're expecting other people to build clients as well um, it's uh, yeah it's if you want to get involved in the project then you know please hit us up on social media or on telegram if you go to the Allen bits channel on telegram um, or uh, if you hit us, if you DM us on Nosta um, and then obviously of course contributors are always very welcome in the repos there it's a really exciting project because we now we solved the decentralized marketplace issue uh, it's no longer an issue we, we it's, it's solved with Nosta market there's obviously some kinks to iron out and I'm looking very much looking forward to when we add reputation into this but there's so many things which you can build with Nosta market such as a uh, um, you know um, local bitcoins um, and uh, people selling digital products uh, I think it's I think it there's some really exciting applications people could build and it's it's using Nosta in a way which is other than social networking as well um, so uh, yeah th there's a lot of things we can build but anyway thanks for watching um, and uh, play around with the software um, and yeah happy selling and buying cheers <laughs>